Hey guys, it's Russell back, and I'm doing the final video in the episode that we have been testing the Chemical Guys car washes. I've done all the car washes. Um, I have some thoughts, some parting thoughts about, people always want to know which one's my favorite, which one's my least favorite, um, which one works best in this situation or that situation. But before I go into that, you guys have always heard me talk about how much I love Adam's car soap. This car soap was his original car soap. It's the red formula. They no longer make this. This soap I have been using probably for about 10 years and it's the best car soap I think I've ever used. Um, they have since changed it to the blue uh, formula. I do not like this formula as much as the original formula and they say that it's better, it's slicker, it's, it just doesn't work as well for me. Keep in mind that in all these tests I've done, it's going to vary a little bit by your water quality. If you live in Florida that has really hard water, for an instance, uh, you may not get as much foam or as much slickness to the uh, car wash solution as I do here. I live in the south <clears throat> and in my area, uh, the water is very soft, so it makes foam pretty easily. There's not really any minerals in the water, and it, it tastes, it's a really good water. It's high quality water, but it's not a um, really hard mineralized water that you have in different parts of the country. So every time in all the videos people hear me talk about Adam's car soap, this is what it is, and this is all that I have left, okay, um, which makes me sad. This is good, this is a good car soap, um, but it's not as good as this. So with that being said, people wanna know what is my favorite soap of the Chemical Guys variety. <clears throat> when I went into this test, I didn't really have any expectations because I hadn't used any of Chemical Guys car soaps. They're very popular in the detailing community and that's why I did the test because my curiosity I wanted to see you know which one works best at least for me and both the submachine gun style uh, foam cannon and also the bucket wash method the results surprised me I didn't realize how similar many of the soaps are I'm not a chemist I don't claim to be one um, but a majority of the soaps, aside from the color and aside from the smell, are almost all identical. There are some variations here and there, and you can go back and look at the reviews, but uh, there's two soaps that really stood out in my mind. One of them is a really, really good soap, and that is Glossworks. This right here, I would say, is 99% as good as the Red Adams soap. Uh, this would be my favorite Chemical Guys soap in both a foam cannon and in a bucket wash. This is one of the Chemical Guys more expensive soaps. Uh, the prices for these 16 ounce bottles vary a couple of dollars. Um, but I can say without a doubt that if you use it at the dilution ratio you're supposed to, which is... Um, I think it's an ounce to five gallons, which is what many of their soaps are, uh, you're going to get excellent performance. Okay, this is a top-notch soap. So, if I was going to buy a Chemical Guys soap, this would be the one I would buy for myself. The worst soap is got to be Wonder Wash. And to be honest, this soap is, is billed to people that have really, really high-end nice cars, super nice paint that wash the cars often. <clears throat> and it even tells you that on the label. It's just really weird. It makes very little foam. And as I explained in the videos before, just because a soap doesn't make a lot of foam doesn't make it good or bad, but I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't get right with this soap. I don't know. Um, it's very slick and it doesn't scratch your car, it won't strip the paint, um, which is good. But I would definitely not buy this soap. In fact, I'm not even gonna use this soap in its current state. What I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to take some of the other mediocre soaps or medium soaps that I said in the in the videos, maybe like Maxi Suds or you know V07, one of those, and I'm going to mix this with that to see if I can't increase the slickness in the water while having the other soaps foam properties. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with that. Now I had a lot of people ask me during the test where did I get the submachine gun foam cannon and I did a video on that and you can go and watch that about my pressure washer setup. I get a lot of questions about that. Um, so I'm not going to go back through that again. I made the submachine gun. Okay. You can go out on the internet and get parts. Um, the foam cannon is an MTM style foam cannon. Uh, I use a gas generator, which generates pretty high pressure. Now keep in mind, if you have a small electric pressure washer, um, or really a, a small gas pressure washer that doesn't put out a lot of PSI, you're not going to get as good a foam as I'm getting with mine. Uh, mine is a standard, I think it's 3200 PSI pressure washer. Most electric pressure washers are not going to go up that high. Um, so your foam is not going to be as thick. And the reason that the foam is super thick is because of the high pressure. Now, if you want to increase the ratio of um, solution in your MTM foam cannon, your foam will also be thicker. So instead of putting one ounce into 10, one ounce of car soap into 10 ounces of warm water, you could maybe use two ounces of car soap and 10 ounces of warm water. What I found out is to do an average size car without having really any leftover, it, that's the proper dilution is one ounce. So you could maybe do, uh, say, two ounces of car soap and put it in nine ounces of, of warm water. Just experiment with your water conditions, your pressure washer PSI. Um, and that really basically wraps it up. Um, Glossworks is definitely, I. I'm very, very surprised with Glossworks. Other than the Wonder Wash, all the other soaps are fine, okay? I would caution you to please make sure if you're going to use one of the Citrus, Citrus Washing Gloss or Citrus Wash Clear, that you do not exceed the dilution ratio because those, especially Citrus Wash Clear, if you want to strip your wax and your sealant to if you're going to re-wax your car and want to do some paint correction or anything like that, that's what you use as a strip wash um, at a higher dilution ratio. At, at the higher dilution ratio, it will strip the wax. Okay, Those two soaps right there, I will never use as a maintenance wash. It's just, I don't... The, the car that's behind me, the, um, the Accord that I've been using, uh, and the reason I'm using this is... Um, because uh, it's got a dark paint so it contrasts very well with the white foam. Um, but I've had the paint sealant, which I use the Adams machine sealant on here for 15 months and it's only really supposed to last a year at the most. Uh, it's lasted 15 months through all these different washes and I try to wash it at least once a week if I can. Um, which is phenomenal. I have another car that I have my Jetta that I've got the chemical guys uh, jet seal on I'm testing to see if that will last as long but if you're looking for a really good paint sealant uh, that protects the paint and you've seen how the water beads up on this it's super easy to clean um, you can't go wrong with with the atoms so um, just make sure if you're using the the other um, the two citrus ones, be careful in a maintenance wash. You know, if you've got, if you like VO7, if you like Maxi Suds, um, you know, or, or any of the others, uh, body wash, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to use all those up eventually. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm going to experiment with some of the Wonder Wash mixed in with them. And if I find something that's like really wow, I mean, this is like, the Wonder Wash and a combination of the other soap made it really good, then I'll do a video on that to let you guys see. I don't anticipate it's going to be that great, but I'm going to try it anyway. So, um, what I need you guys to do is, 
I've had a, a really good time uh, making these videos because I'd like, you know, I wanted to share what I found with you guys, but the views on them haven't been, I don't know if people are just not interested in this, if, you know, so if you guys could help me out and just share the videos, um, that would really help because I would like to make more of them with other manufacturers' car soaps. You guys have given me some um, suggestions, but you know, it is kind of expensive buying all these soaps and if there's not a lot of desire for people to see the content, then, you know, I'll just not bother filming it. So, um, if you guys could help me out with that, try to share the videos and, you know, I'd like to do more, but if, if it's only going to get a couple hundred views and people just don't seem to care, then there's no sense in me doing it. But, um, anyway, with that being said, um, I'm very pleased with the way everything came out. Um, now I know what each soap does, at least in my situation with the water. And you guys keep the suggestions coming about other soaps you would like for me to do in the future. Um, I would like to, you know, maybe do some quick detailers and different things like that if the demand is out there. So anyway, guys, it's been fun. Um, and this is Russell and I will see you guys on the next video.